Right, let's get his disclaimer out of the way. I didn't actually purchase this. It was sent to me from a company called Awesome, and they even told me how to pronounce their name. That's how they pronounce it, Awesome. So I think they're awesome. They're getting more thumbs up. But we'll always do an honest review here. So this is a docking station. It's USB 3.0 to SATA 6G aluminium dual bay docking station with offline clone function. Basically, you press a button and it will clone one drive to another drive. And if you don't want cloning, it's, it's copying. So with that, we'll have a quick look around the box. Nicely packaged, with a good bit of information on the packaging. I haven't opened these, uh, and it doesn't look like it's sealed, but I still didn't open it. So there's a little sleeve, that's what you call the sleeve, in case you didn't know about packaging. So it's just a brown box on the inside. Oops, I'm not sure what's in the box. So uh, there's a box with a cover, so that's obviously the main body. Now I'm just going to get everything out and then we can have a closer look. That's it, so the box is empty. I'll take this out of the cover. Like so, oh looks very nice. Yes, so it's got an on off button on the side. And it's got USB connection and a power connection. And that's your clone button. So you've got a clone button on the side. You've got power button. It says A. It's got some little lights on it. B. And obviously you insert your drives into there. Yeah, looking pretty good. Let's do a close up. So what do you get in the box? So you get the instructions, you get a thank you card, you get a plug, a 3 pin and a 2 pin, you get a USB, and obviously the main body, and a power adapter. So why would you want to buy one of these? Well for a couple of reasons really. Say for instance You've got a PC and you've got several hard drives, like I've got in that one. I've got, what, six in there, I've got a couple in there. And one of them's playing up and you're not sure what's wrong with it. So what do you want to do? So you want to take it out, see if you can fix it. If you can't fix it, you can plonk it into one of these. So you put the, the one you want to clone into A, which is the one out the back, and the one you're going to clone it to, put it in B, but you have to make sure, one thing you must make sure is either the same size as the one you're going to clone or bigger. There's no point in you putting a smaller hard drive in there to try and clone onto it because it, if it's a, nearly a full hard drive it's not going to work. So you either make sure it's an equal size as the one you're cloning from or a bigger one and it should work perfectly. And all you have to do is hold the button in for so many seconds to start the cloning and away you go. You don't even need a PC on for it to do that. It will do it, as long as you've got it powered up, it will do it automatically. So you don't have to plug it in the computer. Not only that, if you have another scenario where, for instance, you've been given a, a drive and you just want to check it out, make sure it's working before you stick it into the PC, you can. You just put it into here and then test it. And we're going to be testing it because I don't know if these two are working okay anyway. So uh, I've had them for quite a while and, you know, it's, I thought, well, this will give me a good opportunity to test them to see if they work. This is a uh, Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM. Uh, it's a 250 gigabytes of storage, so it's quite old. And we're going to put it in slot A, which is the one at the back, and turn on. And hopefully it should just work. There you go, straight away. So just check, make sure uh, it's empty. So properties, it's showing it is empty. It's got 100 megabits used and it's showing 232 gigabytes of free space. So it's basically it's empty. Close that down. I'm going to leave it in now and then we're going to try this one. This is a 40 gigabyte SSD drive. So we're going to try that baby now. Again, this is another old one. And I'm going to put in slot B. So that's in B. And that should just pop up. And there you go. 
and that's showing it's got a Windows operating system on it. Nothing on it. Showing your folders on that, but there's nothing on it except for some bits and bobs. Your keys, bits and bobs. So they both work. So if you wanted to clone it, say for instance you wanted to clone this SSD, uh, you would have to put that in the back one because it clones from A to B. So you put all, all the information that's on this one at the back, you want it onto the one, onto the one on the front, if that makes sense. So we'll close that down. And this is another thing you need to remember. And that's got a partition on it, that one. I just noticed that. When you want to uh, turn it off or take them out, always do it down here. So we're going to eject, it says eject ASM, blah, 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 PM. I click on that. It just makes sure that Windows is not accessing it. And the light's not flashing, so I'm assuming it's safe to uh, take it out. Disconnect it from your computer, like I always do anyway. And they're good. So that one's completely empty. And that one looks like it's got a Windows operating system on it. So if you want to take information off of this, you would chuck it in the back one. And then put another driver in the front, front one. Either, like I said earlier, either equal size or bigger. In case you can't get all the information on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to clone it. We're going to put all the information on here, onto here, hopefully. So this goes in B we're cloning from A to B so that's in we're going to turn it on we're not going to plug it into the PC we're going to do it without plugging it into the PC so that's up and running and the way I read it is you hold this in for 3 seconds wait till the light changes and then release and then press the button again And there it goes, it's working, so it's on the first one, so it's on the first quarter. Right, so that's all done, that was really easy. I'm not sure how long it took because I popped out while I was doing it. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to test it. I'll take the little one out first and just leave the big one in, see if it works. I'll turn it off, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to leave that in now. I plugged it back in my PC, turned it back on again, and hopefully it will recognise it with all the information on it. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Come up with two folders. And we have a perfect clone. Brilliant. So that is our, you clone it. And that's really easy. So uh, if you have any comments or got any questions, please post them below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down and please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Good little tool. Well worth the money.